Alright guys, so today we're going to do an unboxing and a uh, quick review of the Zotac GeForce GTX 1070. So this is actually the cheapest uh, card I could find, uh, well the cheapest 1070 and also the smallest uh, one. Which works out for me because I, uh, I'm i planning on doing a mini ITX or micro ATX build uh, in the future and I may reuse this card. Alright, yeah, so my, uh, my 60D doesn't have uh, autofocus, so just bear with me. Hopefully, uh, with all these views that I'll be getting, I'll be able to get a real camera one day. <laughs> but until then, I just have to use this one for now. Alright, so the packaging of this card is uh, pretty good. I like the colors. Um, you know, the yellow and green and black color scheme is, is, is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, you know. This packaging looks pretty good. Alright, so let's see what we have in this thing. Yeah, I think they did a good job uh, with the design of this card. It actually looks really good, and although it's supposed to be uh, a mini type card, it's actually not that small. But it still, still works for my intended purposes. and. It's also good if you're going to have uh, a case on the smaller side. Uh, today I'm going to put this in my existing setup, but I I ordered uh, some uh, some new parts. I should be getting in a couple days. I'm going to do a Ryzen build that I'm also going to put up on uh, on the tube as soon as uh, as soon as I get that done. Yeah, so they really did a good job uh, packaging this card. There's like multiple layers of uh, boxes and wrappings and all that good stuff. And the card itself is, is pretty heavy as well. So it's, uh, it seems like it's a solid build. And uh, so we got a PCIe. Uh, power splitter here uh, for the for the card so that that may come in handy as well all right so let's get this box out of here uh, no goodies That's all right. all right so let's see what this card actually looks like in person Right, what does that say? Freeze, freeze tech, integrating performance, silence, and efficiency into cooling. Remove before first use. Fan will stop spinning in low loads. All right, that's pretty good. So that'll be good for uh, for case noise. I should bring it down a bit. Yeah, and I'm sure most of you guys know this already, but for those who don't know, um. A lot of uh, modern motherboards actually allow you to set the fan to turn off completely. Or if you have a fan controller, you know, it, it, that's great if you're into live music production or, you know, you, you just don't want a lot of noise. You can actually get your fan to go completely off. And one day I'll, I'll, probably, uh, I'll probably demo that. I actually have a server fan in my case and it spins up to about 5,000 RPM. It's crazy. But then I have the motherboard control the fan speed and it brings it right down to nothing. It actually stops when there's no load on the CPU. So that's really good as far as noise. All right.
right, so <laughs> freeze tech. Let's get that off of there. And the card, the card is pretty solid. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's got this metallic look. Um, you know, I did see uh, where I think it's the European model or the international model actually has a a nice backplate on it. I really wish that uh, the guys over at Zotac, uh, you know, hooked us up with uh, with that. That would have been pretty cool uh, to have that on this card here. So I'm just going to take a few shots. Don't mind me. Yeah, guys, and I'm probably going to put this up on my blog as well, uh, so you can, uh, you know, go and read a written view, review about this card. But, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a video card. I mean, there's not much, not much you can really write about a video card. Um, you know, usually with these things, it's, uh, it's best to uh, show videos of them. <laughs> like demos and stuff like that so eventually I'll probably get a few of those done but yeah it's a nice card it's really good really solid build look at those heat pipes they're huge you know it's really really nice card and I think it will be a good upgrade for my uh, HD 6950 yeah, I know. It's old. I'm about due for an upgrade anyway. Uh, I think I bend the fin a little bit. Uh, let's try that. Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to install this baby and, uh, and do some benchmarks. Alright. Sixty nine fifty only has two gigs of RAM, but it seems to be coping pretty well with uh, with those settings. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so it says I'm using uh, twenty one seventy eight uh, MB of of video memory. Uh, the settings are. Uh, Pretty, uh, pretty high. I'm sure, I could probably go a little bit higher, but then I'd be out of uh, be out of um, out of RAM. So, pretty good. And I'm getting about 40, uh, between 45 and 50 frames per second. All of it doesn't look that way. But then again, as I said, you know, I'm recording, so um, this is actually pretty good performance for, for recording and uh, playing at the same time. Yeah. 
so now I'm like uh, using almost three gigs of RAM. Um, it is Direct X11 because uh, I'm on Windows 7, but uh, you know I'm sure I could probably be getting better performance on on Windows 10 or um, even Windows 8.1, but yeah, I prefer 7. Uh, but uh, the thing that I notice is that uh, even when the settings were were low, like with the card, uh, the previous card, the firmware was still pretty much the same. But then even when I uh, got the settings as high as I could, um, the firmware didn't drop by much. And again, you know, it's going to be a lot faster when I'm not actually recording the video um, during the gameplay. But, you know, it's uh, getting about 30, in between 25 to 30 frames per second. And these are like almost max, maximum uh, quality settings. But to be honest, it, it doesn't really look much different than with the old card. You know, it says they're a lot more... Uh, I guess I can be enabled, but I can't really see it. You know, but hey, it's a good looking game. And um, the good thing is that you really don't need a, a high end card to, to get this, this quality. All right, so now we're going to test X-Plane. And this one is very... Uh, resource intensive um, let's see so we're getting about uh, 7 plus frames per second and up and down a little bit. November 0 2 x-ray Papa Kilo Foxtrot Lima Lima altimeter 2 niner niner 2 Kilo, Foxtrot, Lima, Lima, altimeter, two, niner, niner, two, November, zero, two, x-ray, Papa. And this game is only using, like, uh, medium settings. It's not even, uh, <laughs> barely scratching the surface of what, uh, what the engine is capable of. Should have more than enough thrust to take off, but November zero two X ray Papa Y heading two four zero vectors for the visual runway one zero left descend and maintain three thousand heading two four zero vectors for the visual runway one zero left down to three thousand November zero two X ray Papa. All right, guys. So I uh, this is the 1070, the Zoltec 1070. Um, as you can see, the frame rates are a lot better uh, than they were on the on the Radeon 6950. Um, you know, and uh, as I said, you know, before in the last video uh, or the last part of the video, is that. Um, The firmware is actually double what it is here because uh, uh, with the, the rec screen recording app, it, it cuts the firmware in almost half. But it's still pretty playable. <laughs> you know, a lot more playable than it was with the with the 6950.
Yeah, I would say it's probably maybe even, uh, you know, three to four times as fast as it was before, which which is a pretty good, um, pretty good upgrade. Yeah, definitely going to be having some fun with this game soon.